Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Rainbow Runs. I'm gonna roll the dice real quick. Just get it out of the way. We got a six. Hunter, it is. Into the Gungeon we go. Tiny little bit of a uh, announcement. Okay, if you're not a returning subscriber or you're watching this in a playlist a long time later, this has no relevance to you. I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks and I'm gonna try to get as many uh, videos prepped for that, but if uh, if you see lack of videos for a week or so, don't be worried. It's, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, especially, not, especially not with the new Gungeon stuff coming out later. All right, what I've been, I think I have to go with this riddle of lead, right? Right? That's one way to start for sure. Oh boy. But yeah, I'm going out of the country. I'm going to Switzerland and I will be gone for a while. I'm in, <laughs> saving up for, looking forward to this trip for a long time and I'm excited to go, but I'm also bummed about, uh, oh, doggo found thing. Bummed about not being able to do videos. I know it sounds silly to be like going on a big vacation and be worried about not <laughs> being able to record maybe, but I don't know. I, I've grown to, you know, love this. I, I've never, I've never been out of the country though, so it's a pretty big deal. Enough of that nonsense for those of you who don't know who I am and don't give a toot about me going on a trip. All for you that can be boiled down to there's gonna be maybe a little bit less everything. Gungeon is, you know, Gungeon, a little bit less everything for a little bit. But it's not permanently gone at all. Don't be worried. That's all. But uh, Riddle of Lead, first item is pretty ridiculous. I wanted to, you know, go with a, uh, I'm not allowed to pick that up. I wanted to go with something uh, exciting for myself today. I just really wanna play some more Rainbow Runs. I'm really into it for now. I think I'll just, you know, until we get some some of the new content that has been uh, announced and rumored, a little bit of both. There's the uh, the announcement of the advanced Gungeons and Dragons, of course, but there is also, or not rumored, uh, slightly teased. The advanced Gungeons and Dragons coming out, and it's coming out later, but they did, did mention and officially announce that there's something else coming. However, we don't know, really know the level of that, uh, the the level of, you know, content that's going to be in that. I would imagine it's going to be less than Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. Otherwise, that's the thing they would be announcing instead, because it's because it's closer. And they did mention on the official Twitch stream, ooh, for PAX, I think that uh, ah, that Gungeons and Dragons is coming second. There's something else coming before that. So I would assume maybe not even supply drop size. That's my guess. At the very at the very least, because I ooh, it seems like maybe there's gonna be a decent amount of stuff in Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. But I think Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, based off of like what I you know what I read and what they mentioned, I think that's gonna be the size of a supply drop update. And maybe there's just like a oh man. A fun little intro to <laughs> intro to Gungeons and Dragons kind of thing and I'm excited about that I don't know where I started with that tangent but it always ends with I'm excited about more stuff how could I not be okay we want the shield but we want to remember to pick it up after the boss fight pick it up after the boss fight please remember just in case I don't perfect the boss or uh, get hit in a room prior to the boss. Really gotta make sure I pick that shield up last. It's the minor things like that that really can increase your chances of taking on the, ooh, the Gungeon. Oh, but, but for those of you who are watching who have not completed the Gungeon, which I, you know, I'm constantly reminded that I, <laughs> well, I feel like I'm really bad at the game a lot of the time, like I always, Whenever I do something really stupid, I feel like I'm really bad at the game. Like, almost right there. Um, but you know, so many people think like something is, something like Lead God, which I've gotten a whole lot now, is like literally impossible. And it's, it's not impossible. It's, it is pretty challenging and it's 
something that I have troubles with for sure. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it's something I get like, I don't know, every six, seven runs, maybe. Five, six. And I'm not even like super focusing on it or anything. So, I, I'm constantly reminded that I'm, I'm pretty high up there. So, when I see things like uh, the Advanced Gungeon Dragons update catering to people who are... I probably should have just carried my blank down. Catering to people who are having troubles even completing the Gungeon or find the beginning too slow. Which, there, there's something to be said. It really looked like I should have picked that up. Uh, there's something to be said for that. I think the beginning is a little bit of a slog, per se, I guess. I don't mind it too much. But uh, I I think... I trust the Gungeon developers to not fully cater to that and make sure everything is still in line. For those of us who would be super bored if they made the game a, a lot easier. Or, you know. Okay, well... I had to give it a shot. I don't have I don't have a gun to check. Hey, wait a minute. I remembered. Yeah, but uh, a couple things that they mentioned that excited me a lot that are things that I mentioned. I'm not saying they took it from me by saying this. I'm saying that I have mentioned it. Also, other people have mentioned it, so they could have taken it from anyone. Is a big thing to make runs feel special is increasing the amount of synergy items and making the synergies stronger like the fact that there, there was a couple synergies <clears throat> there wasn't a ton of synergies and a couple of them were completely like unnoticeable and there was a gunzing one that even made it wildly worse truly i maybe shouldn't have done that so i don't know but apparently they've been adding a wild amount of new synergies like I, I, you know what, I can't go to the secret shop anyways. Um, that's, that's awesome. That's a great idea. Great, great, great idea. Whoop, because then, you, you know, like, they, they're saying, one of the ones they mentioned, and I didn't watch all of it. There's, I think there was only 14 minutes, so there wasn't that much, but I kind of wanted to save myself a little. Um, no point to do that, actually. And one of, the, but yeah, that was one of the things they mentioned. But one of the weapon synergies they mentioned that I thought was quite nifty was the the mega hand. Like whenever you pick up the mega hand and another item that's like loosely tied to a robot master, like say mega hand, flame hand, pull, you would mega hand would kind of gather an ability from the Mega Man games related to like one of the fire based. Mega Man bosses, which I think that is super cool, and if they have, if, like, they, they, I think they added, I don't know how many synergies, maybe like, maybe like a hundred or something, that's a wild number that I pulled from nowhere, shouldn't have said that, uh, but yeah, they are supposedly adding tons, like tons, did I not, what am I doing, what am I doing, I'm distracted by cool stuff, let's go back in here, I didn't really need to do it. in this room necessarily not picking clone owl is such a good idea railgun's been showing up a lot huh smart bullets are always fun this is a tough one because i'm not picking up clone Owl's real good. You know what? Owl's really good, but I picked it up recently and I picked up Railgun. Let's do things a little different. Let's not necessarily pick the best thing. Oh my god, we do have a way to... What am I thinking? Whenever I do rainbow runs, I always forget that I have a starting weapon that is from the character. You know, if I'm playing Hunter, Convict. I just completely forget. Gotta remember those. Because it's like, oh, I'm drafting my... Whoop, my items which means I'm starting with nothing. But that's not true. I still get to have the dog and the crossbow. They're not, they're not different. I feel like I've dropped like five tangents so far. Oh, I think real of lead is gonna make uh, our crossbow last quite a bit longer because if it can one shot, it's very efficient then. 
So yeah, we could have been... We could have checked for secret rooms on the last floor, but you know what? How does it... How much does it really matter? Probably not very. Not very much. Pop! Does Riddle of Lead affect reload? Of course it does. Look at that. Riddle of Lead is insane. It basically... You know what? I, that's that's going to be my justification for picking up some stuff a little... Like, a little bit less than the best stuff. Like, uh, is... Is Railgun better than I the uh, Beholster? Yeah, I think so. I think by quite a bit. Or a decent... Uh, noticeable amount. Is Owl the best item there? Besides Clone, which is... is clone is so stupid good but also in my opinion not fun i don't find clone fun some people find clone fun i find it way too silly and of course for the rainbow run mode i would get pretty strong but we can just do a challenge that is that way and not have to spend over two hours i don't know i've, I've explained my my distaste for clone many a time i totally understand the appeal for it for some for people who are uh you know just just playing and maybe they have troubles with the game clone is great because it basically guarantee almost guarantees a victory which is insane but i i don't know i i'm this will sound really hey door lord i probably won't perfect you I don't want to sound cocky, but I don't have that much difficulty beating the game anyways right now. Do I lose? Absolutely! Oh, that was such a dumb use. Alright, let's get all the eyes out here. Uh-oh. Let's just still do it to get the little pals out. Boy, I wish I had my blank. But our dodge roll up from Riddle of Lead is very handy. You never want to go in a circle with that move, by the way. I'm dropping all the tips for beginners this episode. And I know, like, that's obvious to a lot of people, but that's why I said for beginners. Whoop! If you go in a circle, it speeds up. It, it builds momentum, and you just, it's ridiculously hard to dodge then. Bop. 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 And now we're going to go, and we're going to get more shields. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, let's let's search for a tangent in the past that I that I dropped. What was I saying? I don't know. Who knows? Remember to get a chest, you dummy. Don't start talking about uh, an update you're excited about and lose track of everything. Uh, the synergy thing. It's it's really nice because it almost each synergy is almost like adding a new gun into the game or a new item. Um, which is exciting, but it also, it makes them more special. Oh, boy. There's the real rail gun. Gilded bullets. Gilded bullets could be interesting, actually. So could the gun knight. I'm gonna go with the gun knight. You know what? What if? What if? <laughs> that was probably stupid. Because it does increase the chances of other Gun Knight pieces showing up. And we're when we're opening a rainbow chest, we're basically getting a whole bunch of choices. Oh, boy. Like, just because we only get to pick one, that it still it pulls from a, a pool where we are more likely to get a Gun Knight piece. So maybe... I mean, I wish we would have gotten one on the first floor but maybe this will be our chance to be more likely to get a gun knight transformation speaking of gun knight transformation very 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 fun synergy that's all it really is is just a, a multi-item synergy what what did i get hit by did i get hit by a blob yeah i must have but yeah, that, like, so it sounds like they're going to be adding synergies about as strange and, uh, special as, like, Gun Knight, but maybe related to guns. Like they said, 
there's certain synergies you get that just make you dual wield guns. One that immediately comes to mind as the, a probable contender is smileys and shades. I mean, I know they already have the synergy, but it's like not that cool of a synergy. So yeah, making a whole bunch of new synergies does initially make the game just easier. It does. If they're all good, then it's like, how many runs have I played where I would have gotten one of those, eh, one, one of those synergies? Probably a lot. And if all the difficult stuff they add is like, um, what do I say? How do I say it? Like op optional, like the secret floors and whatever. I'm going to open this up actually. Just in case. Nope. I should be opening up the chests just to see if they have any consumables, especially if they're like brown chests. Who, if they're just secret floor stuff, then it, it, like the resourceful rat boss that is basically uh, all but purely confirmed, um, then I'm assuming, like I, I assume that that's going to be a secret thing, or at least a little bit off the beaten path. Maybe, maybe not secret, but probably not forced. Um, that's a good way to, you know, make the game potentially harder, especially if he has a good reward to him. It's like the... Like, the deal with the Devil in Binding of Isaac is the example of a good risk-reward system. You're sacrificing your survivability, which, for someone who is has played the game for a long time, maybe not be that hard of a sacrifice to, to make. But then you get the really cool rewards as well for sacrificing that health. Like, that's a good idea. Is it done perfectly? Not necessarily. But it's one of my favorite examples of risk reward because it rewards it rewards the people and I guess that's like like uh Demon Souls. Everybody's everybody says Dark Souls, but I played Demon Souls first. I like that game a lot. Um But yeah, the the thing where you lose your health until you prove you don't need it anymore. Kind of kind of idea and I, I like that. I think that's cool. It's It's just a good idea I, risk reward is something I find awesome Because it keeps things exciting for for veterans and You know new players are still figuring out the content to begin with so they don't need to be bombarded with all this uh, n new new crazy stuff and it keeps people it keeps things to discover and you feel ex excited the first time you're able to sacrifice your health to get something really cool that helps win you the run you you get very offensively powerful because you sacrifice your defense and you know and that's what, it, something to do with dark souls and stuff like that too like you gain a whole lot of mobility if you don't wear armor which, uh, like, the only thing armor g Ooh! gives you is, you know, the reduced damage taken. But if you can dodge roll, not get hit by anything anyways, you're good. You're golden. I wouldn't mind if there was, like, a, a way to sacrifice health in Gungeon for... And I know there is in the form of that one shrine. But you know what? That one shrine is awesome. I love that shrine. I think that shrine is amazing, and I I always take it no question. What am I doing? Take it no question when it shows up, unless I literally, like, don't have health. Uh-oh. Well, they're all going to explode here. Thankfully, they're all right down there. Anyways. I know I'm supposed to go above him to do this. Alright. Alright. I might not perfect this guy. He's a pretty pretty challenging boss. I And I am out of ammo for anything but the standard. That was really bad. That was really bad. I'm probably gonna get hit. Like, let's, let's be real. Keep expectations in check. This is a boss that has more health than the average. Man, I sh shouldn't even try. Okay. And I don't. I wonder why that is. Like, just because he's new doesn't mean he needs to be harder. 
But there's, yeah, there's part of him that I don't find that challenging anymore. But the fact of the matter is, he's got a lot of health, and his patterns are pretty unforgiving. <laughs> there's a lot of bullets all over the place. And he's just got, yep, yeah, there it goes. He just got a lot of health. And that's really annoying for floor three boss. Hello. Like, I think all the bosses need to be designed with the idea that you may be using your standard. And they should remain an interest, fun, interesting boss. God, I need to get lucky here. Should remain a fun and interesting boss when you're just using your standard. And I think that this guy is one that's not. Hey, I actually... This is not... Oh, this is really good. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. He's going to start shooting bullets, but they might come out of the upper right of him. Which means... Yep. We get to cheese him out for a long time. Oh, baby. That... Okay, that surprised me. I thought that was going to get caught on the wall. Getting framey here. Okay, well that fight was obviously a disaster. Largely due to the lack of ammo in our presence. Oh, I thought there was a shield in here. Alas, tis not. Okay... I think that the shrines are some of the best examples of risk-reward elements. I wish there was a guaranteed shrine on, like, every other floor. Like, it cycles through a whole bunch of different ones anyways. I think that's a, that's a cool idea. Because they're, they're the most interesting. They don't always, like, aside from Pop Pop and the Glass Shrine... Trying to think, what else is there? I think those are the only two that really have no downsides. The Daisuke Shrine is good because it's literally, it's interesting because it's literally just a gamble. But the Shelton, where you can, tr oop, you can trade a, a gun for health, or that, that's not Shelton. But yeah, you can trade a gun for health, that's, that's good for like, Maybe for beginners or whatever. You know, risk sacrifice for a reward. The one where you get health for damage. Obviously, I just talked about how cool I think that one is. And then, uh, oh boy. The uh, curse for curse for ammo. Or is that what it is? Health for ammo. That was really bad. But Riddle of Lead made me safe. Also bad. Oh boy, did I? I did it again. I did it again. I will. You know what? I'll just do it in this room. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're not paying attention, just like me. I just keep on getting on tangents that uh, fully distract me. Oops. Okay, are any of these ammo saving? None of them save ammo, so the only thing we could do is now pick up a gun with good ammo. Strikes me as either using this and only using the charge shots, using machine fist, but only the fist parts, or we could use Omega bullets just to make our current gun better. I think we gotta go with the machine fist. And try to just stick to... Yeah. What? That shouldn't be a possibility, Brent. They shouldn't be able to spawn on you that like that. Okay, please have ammo in here. There is ammo. That's handy. Okay, much better position now. That's so weird. Is it because of all these icons that are already there that it's all, all the ooh all the way up there? 
What should I save? Oop. Okay, that didn't work how I thought. That didn't work how I thought either. Okay. I think I'm spending too much effort uh, making sure I am ammo efficient. Ooh, boy. I'm just like... Again, the... The times where I'm trying to uh, be ammo efficient tonight just never dodge. Which is so weird. Here we are. We can get both at once. No, we can't. No! We didn't get either of them. I think that's the smart thing to do. Crossbow is an interesting concept if we had Omega Bullets. See, that could have been an interesting idea if we went for um, hip holster, omega bullets, um, oh, smart bullets. We could have made an interesting crossbow focused run, and it would be strong because of uh, because of riddle of lead. Even that could have been interesting. That's uh, just another option. Didn't get any gun knight thing showing up, so we're not gonna get a gun knight. I don't think we could have, anyways. I just want to fight you while I got ammos. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How are we doing? Not amazing. Huh. I would think we'd be doing more damage. I can't be dodging into him like that. Is he going inviso? No, he's not. can't tell if I'm hitting him, but he's got to be, yep. Boy, there's a lot going on. No. That didn't work how I hoped. Yeah. Come on. Don't go Inviso, that's all, I, okay, that's all I want. Give me my health, ooh, give me my full health and full ammo, A-O. Bow, bow, bow. Are we gonna get a casual, eh, we missed the last one, that's right, that's right. Okay, so we found the shop. We're at full health. It might be just wise to go down to the next floor right now. See, that, that's an interesting thing that uh, the Rainbow Run allows you to do. It takes away some of the incentive of doing a full floor clear, which, hear me out, I think is a good idea to not always feel like you have to clear the entire floor. I think. I think that provides some, some interesting uh, str strategy on when to leave a floor. All right, what do we got here? Helix bullets. Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. Yes. Ah. Uh. Is it working right now? Not necessarily. But I'm just trying to get it used to it. Okay, so. Would have been better if we could have picked a gun with a little bit faster reload, but we don't. Don't have to deal with the weird finicky nature. Did we sacrifice some ammo? Yes, we did. That's a, that's a downside. For sure. But. Rocket Fist is my like one of my favorite guns to uh, to do that with. Huh? Because you can just pick your favorite version of that gun, like your favorite uh, ammo, your favorite clip. What do I what do I say? How do I say it? Ooh! -ah. 
uh, like, you know, when there, you have a gun that has two different versions, like, uh, for some reason you want a better Gungeon Ant, you can just pick your, the fire one. And, uh, oh, yeah. You get to do that, like, I don't know. It's nice. Is this using 10 ammo at a time, though? That's something to consider. It does use 11 ammo at a time. So that's not super efficient. It uses the same ammo that uh, Rocket Fist would, but it does have a higher ammo capacity. Ooh, wow! That may come in handy. Was it a good choice? It's hard to say because it takes up an entire item slot. So, maybe not. Because it's basically turning two guns, you know, it's literally turning two guns into one gun. And it causes some ammo woes in... Oh boy, get away from me. It causes some ammo woes in a run that already has some ammo woes. However, it also makes us feel super cool. I like it a lot. I just, you can't, you can't pass up duct tape. It's, it's impossible. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful item that I hope they draw inspiration from and realize that it is probably like the most exciting item to get in the game. And I hope, I hope they can channel what is cool about it when they add stuff to the game in the coming updates. Uh-oh. <laughs> that didn't work quite how I was planning. Okay. We're running real low here, aren't we? And you know what? It's lasting okay. It's it's like what I was doing with the machine fist without the finicky nature of it that gets you hit. <laughs> also, we get ammo right there to buy. So, it doesn't matter that we're sort of wasting. And we're not wasting. If it keeps you from dying, it's not waste. What are we at? 141. Obviously, I want it for the dragon. You know what we should do? Clear out a couple rooms. Because we have red health on the floor somewhere, right? We do. So there's no harm in exploring a little. Or there's little harm in exploring a little. If we manage to get hit twice, then there's a little harm. Uh-oh. Yeah! Okay. I like that. Okay, now we get two hearts to play around with. So we really might as well explore. Two hearts and an ammo box waiting for us. No downside, really, in exploring until our ammo's gone. It is our current determina determinator. Uh-oh. There. He. Okay, well, there we go. We got one hit. Oh my god, that's so silly when that happens. Now we go buy that ammo. We do lose the cool part of the holster. So, that stinks a bit. But it doesn't stink that much. It's crazy. Yeah, we're on floor five. And we effectively, we have one gun right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is not killing him that fast. And I'm not dodge rolling either. Okay. Doing it when it counts. Can't be hitting the damage cap. No way. So I think it just does not as much damage as you would think.
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These shouldn't be sent at the same time. Oh boy. No blanks. Couldn't have gotten rid of that. Uh oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's something that is super easy to avoid when paired together. The dragon fight, for the most part, is a cool and I think relatively iconic fight. But there's some stupid in it too, and it's purely down to the the weight in between the moves. Oh boy. I knew that was coming. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna take almost our entire gun. Which is frustrating. You know what? I was gonna say it's not worth the time to take him out. But it probably was, now it's not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's gonna cost our entire gun. We're gonna be going to bullet hell with nothing. We're gonna have to draft a gun. Have to. Boop. All right. Got to be good here. Oh, that was bad. Ah, uh, might be more than a two cycle. I've gotten relatively good at uh, shifting out guns and stuff. Making it so most things end in two cycle. But... I don't know. Oh, that was bad! If See, if I was just a little bit better at timing it right... Like, I clicked too early. I clicked the fire button too early. Before it was reloaded. No big deal. I mean, I'm probably not going to get hit here, so it doesn't matter. The only time it matters is when you get hit or you're speedrunning. What do you give me? Oh, nothing. All right, was there anything in here? There was health, wasn't there? No reason not to. And what do you know? We're going to leave the floor with full health. We could try to get some ammo, but I think it would just end with us getting hit. I think the smart thing to do is to drop the, what, three rooms that are left on the floor and go down and hope for a new gun. I mean, I think it's really unlikely to not get a new gun. So, probably not that much hope there. Down we go. Okay. Remember, get a gun, or some way to somehow save ammo. What could it be? Like, the only thing I can think would be play well, get ammo. Ammo synthesizer, I should say. What else is there? I don't think the ones that increase your ammo capacity even fill up your ammo. They'd be appealing, but it might be a trap. All right. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. I want to go do it right here. I think there's a little... Where's the most room? I think it, I get, maybe it is here. Well, didn't really plan for it to be spawned there. Fat bullets make our current bullets more efficient. Omega bullets do the same. I think we gotta go with something like shotgun full of hate, though. Laser Lotus doesn't have very high ammo capacity. Abyssal Tentacle doesn't either. Charlatan Key is useless. Um, box is relatively useless. Pulse Cannon not effective enough. This is basically what we gotta go with. It doesn't have a lot of ammo to it. But it's got some. Did we hit there? Oh, I can't even use my trick again. There we go. Should I sh save? Shotgun full of hate for a little bit. Perhaps. Perhaps I shall. I mean, hopefully we get ammo. Right now. Nope. I love how... 
Oh, he didn't even finish stealing all this stuff. That's an interesting tactic that you could employ is if you... Oh, man. If he pick, picks things up in the order that they were dropped, then you could use that in your to your advantage if you have some stuff you don't care about losing. I, I don't know what the practical application would be, but you could drop down a bunch of stuff to buy yourself time while you do a room or something. The only practical application I could think of is if there's two space bar items, you want to keep one. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Should probably only use one gun. Let's use shotgun full of hate. Oh, I thought this had much better knockback. Boop. There we go. Boop. Shotgun full of hate without poison immunity does obviously have some downsides. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Oops! The second one was, wasn't as much of an oops as it was just that was well shot by them. Save ammo. Ooh. Okay. You know what? I think it's worth eight ammo from shotgun full of hay. Hey, uh, that shouldn't have worked. That yeah, shouldn't have worked at all. Also, that was the wrong direction. Probably. Very likely the wrong direction. <laughs> that's not... <sighs> that's so misleading. Like, now that the stuff is gone, it should be able to relocate itself back over. Right? They should, should push it back after the rat steals it. Get in the pit. Yeah, this has got some decent knockback if you hit with... Hold on. I'm gonna... Tr no, I'm not gonna test it. It's stupid! God, that was lucky. Because it... It looks like you can walk behind this, but you can't. Right? You can. Because what I was gonna say is I can dodge roll behind it. And that'd be a good strategy for this floor in general. God, it's scary, though. Or this room with the, uh, the big head man. In the beginning, before you can, like, oh, get to him easier. It's an idea. It's an idea. Always on the prowl for pro tips. I'm definitely getting some frame action here. I guess it's probably on my end. I don't know what it would be. Save ammo. That guy just blew up. Oh. Okay. Gotta die, gotta die, gotta die. Good. Thank you. Health in bullet hell is so fun to get. Why is it... It just really feels like there's so much more happening. I think that the frame issues make it when it's like... since. It's a little bit choppier for me. It makes it feel like more is happening. So I have less frames to like process what's happening. That's probably what it is. We're running out of this. I mean, we're probably going the right way. It's real likely. If I can just keep him in the poison. Oh, that was close. If I can just keep him in the poison and keep myself from getting hit can probably save some ammo, but in that case, I might as well be doing my other gun. Oh, well. I thought there was a second wave that's supposed to spawn. hoo uh, Please hit the spawning guy randomly. <laughs> I love that. That was pretty good. It says I'm running at 60 frames, so that's why I'm that's why I'm confused and mentioning ah uh, the frame action. Come on. Good 
Good, good. Three branching, branching pads. Ah, dang it. I was trying to be cool. But instead I look a fool. I don't want to rap because I can't. God, please help me see. That wasn't supposed to be a rap even though I was just talking about it. I know that does not rhyme. And I know not all raps have to rhyme. But help! That's a, the, the summary is just help, please. I'm struggling for some reason very heavily. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go! No! Stuck. I'm actually, I was literally stuck. That happens like once every 50 episodes. I, I get literally stuck. Okay, we need something better for this room. Yay, 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 hoo! Oh god. Why do you have to be two shots? Alright. We're starting to get cornered. Gotta make a move here. No! Bad. Bad, bad, bad. This is getting rough. It's getting really rough. We're gonna need some kind of help. And we're gonna need to find the dang boss real soon. I'm real annoyed that I'm having to use this gun right now. I know half two is a strong word. Thank you. Oh boy. Ah, man. That's a very long dead end. That stinks. Okay, dodge. No, no, where? God, I've, you, ah, <laughs> you can't touch him. What a dumb hit. All right. What do we do? Oh, God. Help, I'm like not pressing the dodge button today. I think it's, I don't know, I don't wanna make excuses. It's the last thing I'd wanna hear. Okay. That definitely worked exactly how I planned. Oh god. Take on the one that's not jammed first. I mean, they have an easy enough pattern to dodge. No. Like, once you got them down. But boy, is it taking a lot of ammo. Lich has got to be around here. <laughs> I want a better gun. But I don't want to waste all this ammo because I probably am not going to get any more. And then I'm going to have to fight the boss with that gun instead of these guys. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this room is always a lot easier than it seems. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Uh-oh. Alright, we can just focus slowly, slowly. Don't need to worry about spending stronger ammo. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. This is... Why does this feel so much longer than normal? It's because I'm ill-prepared, that's why. Oh, jeez. 
I might not make it to the Lich. Which is embarrassing. But I, have a, I really don't have very many items. I expressed before, like, the duct tape is one of the coolest items, but it's not... It's one of the items that you want to take every time you see it, even though... It does not always make your run that much easier. This could definitely be the Lich. What am I doing? Down to one heart. Can I beat the Lich with one full heart left? It's gonna be hard. And I'm gonna run out of ammo. But we do have three blanks. That's a saving, saving grace for sure. This gun is not as strong as it seems. Look at... And those of you who think I'm gonna be, like, who think I'm sandbagging because of it, look at how much damage it's doing. Just pay attention to that before you think I'm sandbagging. Because it does okay damage every time it hits, but it doesn't hit that often. The nice thing about it is the uh, explosion does clear some things out. Uh -oh. Come on. First blank. We got two more. Uh-oh. That was bad. Uh-oh. Come on. Uh, we're screwed! <laughs> we're so screwed! I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> that doesn't follow us to the next floor, does it? This teleports us to a different room. Alright. How screwed are we? Hey, yeah, dead. Okay, well, what did we learn? Um, ammo is important. That, that's, the, that's the main thing we learned. Ammo is important. Duct tape is not always a great idea, despite being really fun. Eye of the Beholster, not the best thing we could have picked on the first floor. Or second floor. First floor? Second floor, second floor. Definitely not the best thing we could have picked on that floor, and yeah, it, it definitely inhibited us a bit. But, I had a good run. I, I totally felt fun, and I feel satisfied enough. Wish I could have won, but hey, it was almost looking like I wasn't going to make it the Lich on the, the last floor there. But, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.